Am I the a-hole for not giving my sister her share of the college fund? We came from an extremely sexist family. My brother got a car, 75% of our parents' estate and they paid for his college. My oldest sister had to take out loans to finish her education. I never went to college because of my undiagnosed ADHD but I have money because of sheer dumb luck. My younger sister, 22F, started college two years ago. My parents offered to pay rent for a room after she didn't get a scholarship and a room in the dorms. I offered to pay her scholarship and some extra for groceries, stating that I put aside college fund for all girls in our family, my two daughters, my sister, a younger cousin, and a niece. This is just one account, and in my will, it stated it has to be divided between these girls for college expenses, and the ones who already finished college by the time I died, get nothing from that account. Now the problem, my sister decided to drop out, get pregnant and marry her boyfriend of six months. I try not to be disappointed, I am, but I shut the F up about it. Today was the big announcement, I knew it beforehand, so I could act all happy, and after lunch, she pulled me aside asking for the leftover of her college fund. I explained to her, that there is no her fund and I'll be happy to pay for her tuition if she goes back someday, but she has to give me proof that she does go to college, she pocketed the last semester's payment failing to inform me of her dropping out, she freaked out since she counted on that money for a down payment on a three-bedroom apartment, but I stood firm on my decision. She accused me of trying to control her with my money, and punishing her because she chose a different path in life, being a psalm, and not having a career. Mom said it wasn't really feminist of me to not support her in this.